All right, welcome in. We're live for the Alabama free game for North Carolina Sweet 16. You can see Jim Dunaway has made his way to Crypto.com Arena. Very underwhelming once you get there, according to Dunaway. His coverage in L.A. presented by MyBookie.ag, code next round, where Alabama will check again. Dunaway, four and a half point favorite, or four and a half point underdog. It ticked up to five in our show, but down to four and a half. You can play it at MyBookie.ag, all the games tonight. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere. MyBookie.ag, code next round. MyBookie.ag, code next round. Also, the Autograph Art uh, app curates all the info from all your favorite tools. Autograph out, download it. It is free. Use code TNR when you download it. That helps us tremendously. How was it uh, outside crypto there? It looks like a nice day. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Maybe the best weather day yet. Um, sunny, a little breezy, a swirling wind. I'm trying to use this wall of the old LA Coliseum as a, um, and a tribute to the LA Kings as a windscreen here. Uh, this afternoon, but it's a beautiful day. I did some head counts on my, my hangout out here. Uh, as you expected, Arizona fans outnumbering everybody, uh, and then North Carolina fans. But on our platform, got a couple. I got an interview, three Alabama fans. I saw some at a few hotels. So there'll be some Alabama fans here tonight, but uh, they may, they'll at least be third. And we'll find out um, if they outnumber the Clemson folks. I've seen a few Clemson fans as well. But it, it's heavy Arizona, heavy North Carolina. Well, Arizona right now a six-and-a-half-point favorite. And North Carolina a four-and-a-half-point favorite. MyBookie.ag for those lines. Uh, DB King says only four, four-and-a-half hours until tip-off. <laughs> Will says, I'm going to have to go home and take a nap. These fans, don't they're worried about this late game. They're worried about staying up with this. Uh, the guys are fine, though. They've been out here forever. Like, I went to dinner last night with the Crimson Tide Sports Network, and they were like, I'm meeting the lobby at 7.30. And I was like, that's 9.30 back home. We're meeting in the lobby at 9.30? You guys are West Coast guys now. And, um, yeah, we ate dinner at 10 o'clock, my body clock, last night. You get out here on the devil's time, and uh, it gets a little wacky. But these guys have been here a while. So I don't think the Alabama players are going to worry about it too much. Uh, Lamb, I believe, or loves that the public is all over North Carolina. He has not seen one person take Bama. Uh, that is that is true. I think a lot of people think North Carolina is going to win this game. Lance has a play on this game, but I'm going to tip it off at lanceslot.com. I have talked to him, though. I know how he's leaning. Lanceslot.com. Uh, but I think a lot of the uh, experts, air quotes on that one, are, uh, are on UNC in this. Well, that's how you get to be the number one seed in the region, right? Few people ever go against the one seed unless they've seen something – uh, in the tournament that makes you think they're not going to play up to their seeding. And you have not seen that from this North Carolina team. Uh, in fact, they may be playing their best basketball these days uh, than they have at some points during the ACC race. So I think it's really interesting uh, that where this North Carolina team is, and they've got a really good player on the inside and they got a really good player on the outside. So it works really good to where you get a little inside outside action going on. I always have to check my surroundings. I apologize for that. It was a scary situation there. Um, inside, outside going on. Uh, they're, they're a dangerous group. They've got the talent to win a national championship, no doubt. And Alabama will have their hands. I always wonder, you know, it ticked up, then it ticks back down. I don't know enough about gambling to know, is that a good sign for Bama or a bad sign? But I think it's a great sign for Bama that it's uh, settled in around four and a half. That means the folks in Vegas think it's going to be a game. Because I think, Brownie, I don't know about you, but if you're the name brand, like in football, Alabama gets a lot of extra points because they're the name brand, right? Yep. So if, it, if Alabama is like a four-and-a-half-point favorite in a football game, I always think that's pretty darn close to a pick them because Bama is getting a lot of points just by being Alabama and the Nick Saban reputation. I feel like North Carolina being the one seed is getting that. So I think this comes down to almost a one-point pick them type game tonight, and we'll see if Alabama can live up to what some of the people are expecting them to do tonight. Uh, Lunsford says all the major handicappers he has seen are split on North Carolina Bama. So that's uh, against a spread. That is maybe not necessarily to win outright, but against the spread, which probably tells you Vegas has set a pretty good number on this at four and a half if the handicappers are split on it, well, right? If the experts are split, uh, split on like Lunsford says, and it's uh, four and a half and they're split, that means, you know, under one minute, there's a good chance that Alabama's got the basketball with a chance to do something. And we talked on our show today, man, if Bama – under the four timeout is within the point spread, five points. Uh, after that last media timeout, I think we would all take that. Nate Oates would take it and just go play the game right now and uh, for four minutes and see if you can uh, outscore North Carolina for four minutes. 
Um, AK has been repping Bama all day in Charlotte, letting them North Carolinians know, he says. So, AK in for the tide up there in uh, North Carolina. Well, let me tell you, uh, the first two guys I interviewed out here that were in Bama gear, you can yep. see it on our platform. One of them's in a Colin Sexton jersey. So, I walked up and talked to him. I said, hey, you're going old school. I mean, not that old school, but uh, he had a Colin Sexton on. And I said, hey, where are you from? And he's like, Austin, Texas. And I was like, Austin, Texas. He goes, yeah, I uh, just got accepted. I'm a senior in high school, and I enroll in Alabama in the fall. And I said, so you're from Austin, Texas. You're not even at Alabama yet, and you've traveled out here with your buddy who's a North Carolina fan to cheer on your future school? And he's like, yep. And I was like, roll tide, baby. Roll tide. <laughs> then the next, the next guy I talked to is down from Idaho. Fell he's a Bama guy? Yeah, fell in love with Alabama watching football. Uh, you know, he's probably in his late 20s. And uh, just, just to show you the power of CBS, he goes, you know, I just fell in love with Nick Saban in Alabama and Idaho. And um, so I decided to come down here and support the basketball team. I was in the area, so I bought tickets, and here I am. Yeah, so good for him. Austin, Austin yeah. and Idaho are the first two. Guys. Then I talked to a guy from uh, North. So it works, it works out. Two out of three, eight, man. That's about the uh, – the breakup of enrollment right now, two out of, out of state and one in state. Yeah, I was about to say, Austin and Idaho is not exactly uh, East of Boga and, uh, yeah. and, and high level Alabama. When I was a kid, I'd watch Alabama football, and it was Red Bay, yeah. or yeah. it was Satsuma, yeah. or, Pritchard, or Pritchard, or from Birmingham. Uh, there was never any, you know, very rarely was it Austin or Mater Day or any of that stuff. <laughs> Uh, Ryan says Bama needs to get off to a hot start so the momentum can favor Alabama. Um, yeah, I mean, I agree with Ryan. If you could, if you could dictate the pace of this game, because if Alabama gets off to a hot start, it increases the chances that this game will play high, like the uh, odds makers think. Again, the total in this game is one seventy three and a half, which is the highest on the board in all the Sweet Sixteen. Uh, I think if Alabama could get this game in the 90s or 100s, they would much rather uh, play it that way. So if you get off the hot start, it increases the chances you're able to get it there. And that's just a smart basketball breakdown on his part because he knows if Alabama gets off to a hard hot start, that means the pressure starts amping up on the yep. number one seed, right? The, the longer Alabama makes it a game, then uh, the more pressure falls on North Carolina because there ain't no pressure like blue blood pressure, baby, and they've got blue blood pressure. They do. You were over at the team hotel when the team departed. Um, I don't guess from that you can piece together anything on Latrell Wright. So, I mean, he got on the bus, obviously. Well, it was uh, the other way around, actually, Brown. I was okay. at the team hotel when they were coming back from their My final shoot-around. And Wright was on the bus getting off to go back into the hotel for pregame. And uh, I sent out some video of them going into the locker room after the shoot-around yesterday, the last one we were open for. And uh, he was leading the way back into the locker room after getting a good sweat in yesterday's shootout. He looked like he had been working just as hard as everyone else coming off the bus. He wasn't limping. You know, he wasn't, you know, in a non-contact jersey. Uh, I don't know if he's going to play or not. Um, but uh, he he's, looks like he's doing everything that everyone else is doing. So we'll see if he plays and if he contributes tonight. But he's, he's with the team. He's in workout clothes. He has been sweating. So he's been doing something all day long, but they're back at the hotel now uh, where they jumped into their pregame meals and maybe one last meeting, but they, I guess it was about an hour, 15 minutes ago when they got back to the team hotel from their last shoot around, I assume here at crypto. Yeah. My apologies. That would have made very little sense since the tip off of this game is still three and a half hours away. That they were yeah. at the hotel. I was just going to point out to you, Alabama didn't just get here. Arizona did about 15 minutes ago, and it feels like they're about to play. I was walking out because you texted me, and it was about 4.50 local time. Oh, excuse me, it was about 2.50 local time, and I started walking up from our media area downstairs, and that's where the locker rooms are, and I'm passing the Arizona players, and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm all out of whack on time. I said, 2.50? You guys play at 4, right? You're just getting here? and uh, But they were, so – Good to be Arizona, I guess. I guess so. I mean, um, I don't know the setup around Crypto.com Arena. I've only driven by there, but it seems like it's uh, pretty mild for a Sweet 16 game tipping at about an hour from now. Well, Brownie, let me – there's a lot of people inside now. I don't know if I can – I don't think I'm flipping around, but – No, you're fine. We're, we're around the corner here because yeah. of uh, a couple of reasons. One, 
I was using this as the wind. And the other is they've got this street blocked off right here. It's blocked off beside the arena. And it's blocked off for live TV live shots. We're not allowed to go live inside. So I'll walk back around here, TV shots everywhere, down through here, over here, and all the way down through here. Right. This, this is blocked off. No road traffic is for the fans and for the media to come out here outside of crypto. But what was going on and why I was over there was uh, the fact that there was about um, – and he's down in the intersection now. There was this guy with five speakers strapped to his body, and he was preaching the gospel at a very high – not that I'm against the gospel, but he was preaching it at a very, very uh, high volume. Yeah. And uh, as a follower of Christ, I asked him if he'd wait 30 minutes until our show was over, and he passed on that. So I it is? Around. But he's moved down a little bit, so I can come back out here in the open. But you can see way down the street, that's where a lot of the fans are going okay. to go in. This is player entry and media entry down gotcha. here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. It is Easter weekend, so uh, good time to be preaching the gospel, I guess. Sweet 16 and Easter weekend. Yeah. Um, oh. Exactly. He is risen. <laughs> yes. Bryce yeah. says, roll tide, baby. So pumped. I want to see Bama pull out the win. They need Sears to continue to be the best player in the tournament. You know, I talked with the passing today. And I asked him, you know, do you think Mark Sears got a 40-minute game in him? And passing says, I think he has to. He goes, A, I think he does. That's who he is. But I, I think they need him to play a 40-minute game, play be on the court, never come out, no rest for Mark Sears. He plays from uh, tip-off to zeros. Uh, is that, I, think, I think that's probably the game plan, right? Well, I will tell you what to watch for is if there is a stoppage in play, like 45 seconds away from a, a, tip, a TV yep. timeout, that's when Nate Oates will get a quick substitution, maybe one possession offensively, one defensively, before the next stoppage of play. And that's when they sort of steal some minutes of rest for him. And they did that the other night. Um, they don't do that as much during the regular season where they have a pretty bigger rotation. But the other night, like in the game against Grand Canyon, that's what they did. And that gives you an opportunity to steal some minutes. Yep. Uh, Jay Smith wants to see more ball movement, be aggressive on offense, stay out of foul trouble. They'll be fine. Um, that's his thoughts on Alabama. Um, look, it is, you know, I think we saw that, Jim. Um, again, we were watching on television, not there, but in the arena in Spokane against uh, Grand Canyon early on, that was as intense as I've seen Alabama play defensively. So, um, hopefully, I mean, you keep waiting, keep waiting, keep waiting for – that to change and the defense to get better. And I just assume that's the defense you're going to have all year. Maybe maybe they've awakened a little bit and they've got a little more aggressive edge to them defensively. Well, I will tell you, you know, everyone griped about the officiating yeah. in the Grand Canyon game. But I, I was of the impression that that actually benefited Alabama because I don't think Alabama is an A-plus defensive team. So uh, even though they had a lot of fouls, I think they let them play pretty aggressive. And that helped Alabama be more aggressively defensively. I think if you get a, an officiating crew that is quick to the whistle, then I don't think Alabama is good enough to be aggressive defensively without fouling. And that's where they could get into some trouble tonight. So I'm hoping, again, for a, uh, a crap show of an officiating crew that would let you body check somebody L.A. King style and not go to the penalty box. And, and they, don't, they don't call the foul on Alabama because that's a good way for Bama to neutralize uh, a guy like R.J. Davis and, and Baycott, if they're able to grab him, hold him, and bang him around a little bit, if the officials let him play, then uh, that's, you know, I say the same thing during football season all the time, right? Yeah. That if we get into a game early on against the Nick Saban secondary and they're letting them hold a little bit and grab a little bit out there in, on the receivers, game over. Because that's yeah. feeding, in, feeding into those five-star guys, and now I can hold and grab him, not going to flag me, game over. So it would help Alabama if you, get, if you have some officials and let them hold and grab and be a little over-aggressive. Uh, our coverage from L.A. presented by MyBookie.ag, code next round. I'll give you the uh, point spreads right now. Those, uh, you know, could always change before tip, but we're closing in on some tip times here. For the early game, UConn still an 11.5 point favorite over San Diego State. North Carolina, a 4.5 point favorite over Alabama with a total of 173.5, so a lot of points expected there. Uh, Iowa State, one and a half point dog to Illinois. And uh, the early game where Jim is, has ticked down a little bit. Arizona now just a six and a half point favorite over Clemson. 
there at crypto.com arena, mybookie.ag for all the games. Use code next round when you sign on, get that sign on bonus at mybookie.ag code next round. Mybookie.ag code next round. Also, don't forget the autograph app. Download it, it's absolutely free. What it does is it curates and puts together all the info on your favorite teams. Uh, right there on one app. Tom Brady is the owner. Autograph app. Code TNR. That helps us when you sign up. You use code TNR. Very hard to do. Code TNR on the autograph app. I like that. Um, yeah. uh, we'll go NFL Films. It was a sunny day in Los Angeles as the tie <laughs> rolled in the crypto arena. <laughs> Chad says, go after Baycott early. Take charges. Can't be afraid to get in front of him. We talked about that a little bit. Uh, with Ron Slay, you and I have talked about it. I mean, you got enough big guys, but you got twenty fouls you could give, and and just see how you know, see how he reacts to that, right? Yeah, and what is he a sixty-eight percent free throw shooter? A career, so, yeah. but he's he's better this year. Sixty-eight in his career, seventy-eight this year, so he's done better this year. Yeah, but I'd I'd make him do it with a with a numb arm and a bruised leg. <laughs> I, I, I'd play physical with him. I mean, he's played. I mean, he's he's going to be running up and down this court. Like uh, LeBron and Kareem late in their career. He's played so many games there at North Carolina. So I'd make him earn his minutes tonight. I agree with you. Run the bodies out there. I want Alabama to be physical, man. Be physical and make them call the fouls. Corey says uh, on Facebook, Baycott is going to get his. Reitzel has to play. Got to shoot well. Reitzel has to play. Um, You know, obviously, look, Alabama, I mean, we've talked about it uh, as much as we can. They're going to be better with Reitzel in there. That's the lineup they want to have. He's a good shooter. By the way, though, you made a point about his defense on R.J. Davis. That's right. Uh, he becomes, I think, Alabama's best defender, um, arguably. But I think he's the guy that would draw the, the R.J. Davis. If he was 100%, I think it would be Reitzel on R.J. Davis. And um, I thought Ryland Griffin did a good job the other night. I'd rather have Ryland worried a little bit about, um, you know, scoring some baskets down at the other end, too. And I think when Ryland's worried so much about his defense, it may take away from his offense a little bit. Reitzel showed he could do both of them. If Reitzel can play, he's 100%. I think he's on RJ tonight. Ryan says, Grant Nelson, big game, no foul trouble. He hasn't been a factor in this tournament. Nelson has not been a factor in this tournament. I didn't get a chance to go watch the interview. You said he kind of – he didn't seem to like the fact that you talked about him playing out of position a little bit. I don't think he's ever thought of – as a five, but with that small lineup, he kind of has to play the five. And in those two games, he has not put up points done away. I think he's got six points, two boards for the two games of this tournament. Yeah, well, you, you know I'm not a coach. So I was just echoing what I thought other people had said, that he was playing out of position. And when I said, you sort of, I'm sure you didn't imagine playing the position you're playing, you're sort of out of position. And uh, he gave me a you know, little mustache, sort of rose, rose into an angry formation there. And I was like, I was thinking to myself in my head, and you do this when you ask questions sometimes. I was like, oops, I've, I've asked the wrong thing. Let me, let me throw in a compliment at the end and see if I can save this question. And then he gave me an answer where he talked about, and this is a quote. You can go back and watch it. It's not a quote. I'm paraphrasing, but go back and see what he exactly says. But I think he said, I, I think I can play with any big man in the country. Uh, go back and look at Tulu at Mississippi State. And then the kid from Tennessee, now, they were 0-2 against Tennessee, but they were 2-0 and against Tulu. Uh, so we need him to have a Tulu-like game if you're a Bama fan. And, uh, and um, if, he, if he's like he was against Tulu those two games, it'll be good. But I agree. It's, it's time for Grant Nelson to have a big game. I, I think I would, where I would disagree a little bit is on the foul trouble. You don't want him to foul out, obviously. But if he doesn't have a no. few fouls, he's not playing big kind of hard enough, right? I mean – I don't think if you if you got to the end of that game and, and Nelson's playing with four fouls and you're still in the game, I think Nate Oates would say, I am fine with that. That means he's gotten after Baycott a little bit. That's right. But uh, his problem has been, you know, a quick one, then a second one that instantly goes to a third one, yeah. right? He, and then he's in trouble at that point. And they need his minutes, you know, just for a little bit to where if Baycott draws him on the other end, that they can sort of do some stuff which I hope they do, where maybe he can dribble past Baycott. Or if Baycott doesn't come out on him, then he could stroke that three in there. Uh, that wouldn't bother me at all either if, if uh, you know, they sort of spread it out and try to get Baycott out on the three-point line with him and let him dribble past him if he wants to. Yeah. Uh, Ryan says Pringle is the X factor tonight. See if Pringle maybe uh, has a little bit for Baycott tonight. I don't know. I mean – Good time. So we got step up, right? 
So we got uh, Reitzel's the X Factor. That's right. Grant Nelson, Pringle. Sounds like you need a team effort tonight to beat this, this mighty North Carolina Tar Heel team. Got a lot of X's. We got a lot of X's. We're like uh, George Strait, man. All our X's. We got a lot of X factors in this game tonight, apparently, for Alabama. I agree. Uh, Stephen wouldn't mind if Nelson got Baycott in some one on one situations. Take a go dribble at him, right? Make him play a little bit of defense. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, I, I mean, if Baycott was a great defender, um, a guy that could step out on the perimeter and then guard a guy as he drove past him into the basket. Don't you think he would be already in the NBA? Probably. So, yeah, it's 6'11". Yeah. I mean, if he's a legit 6'11", yeah. So if he had that kind of footwork, don't you think that he would already be in the NBA? So I want yeah. to try that. I want to see if we can spread him out. And then, uh, you know, if you're if you're an Alabama fan, you say, let's spread him out and see if uh, maybe Grant can dribble past him and slam one home real quick and then set the tone at that point. Are you uh, – is, is your arm getting tired? Do we need to wrap this? Well, it is getting tired, but – I've now found what I hope is a, a very safe thing to set my phone on a little bit. I've got to hold on to it, but I'm in a different formation now. Well, I like it, though. We've got the crypto.com. As uh, EG says, Jimmy, Jimmy Crypto in his natural habitat. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there are some people hacking my account right now <laughs> that will go ahead and save this. It's an, easy, it's an easy edit for them up here on the arena. Jim's made us so much money, we renamed the arena after him. Oh, he's so good. I hope somebody does that. Hey, uh, speaking of EG, she is in Tuscaloosa. She is about to uh, sit in on the Taylor DeBoer press conference. If there's anything you want uh, her to ask Coach DeBoer, she's happy to do it. Just uh, shoot her a tweet at MEG underscore sports, at MEG underscore sports, and she'll try to get some voices in to Coach DeBoer uh, after Alabama's uh, scrimmage today. So there you go. So EG over in Tuscaloosa will have some of that on the show tomorrow. At MEG underscore sports, if you want to ask questions uh, to Kaylin DeBoer. Uh, all right. Alabama is a four and a half point underdog just before tip here for game one, uh, where Arizona is the favorite. If Alabama wins, they'll get the winner of that Arizona Clemson game. Somebody asked earlier, Dunaway, and I, I don't, I'm not going to be able to go back and find the comment. They asked, how long has UNC been in town? We know Alabama came straight from Spokane. We've talked about the fact that Clemson went from Memphis back to Clemson. They were there 12 hours and then went to L.A. Do you happen to know in North Carolina? Because they were just playing in Charlotte, so I know they went back to campus. I think they arrived in town on Tuesday and uh, did a little work here Tuesday, and then everyone had their official media day yesterday. Um, I'll see if I can confirm that, but I think it was Tuesday that they flew into town. Yeah, no big deal. It was just to ask. I didn't know if you knew. I, I'm still just so puzzled by Clemson's decision making there that they weren't prepared just to fly straight to LA. That one is uh, kind of baffling. I agree. I mean, again, it's not like you saved money by flying back to Clemson, sleeping one night there, and then flying back to LA. I mean, what did you save there, right? Yeah, one, one night enough. Yeah, yeah, one night hotel. Yeah, not, not worth it. Somebody would yep. probably gave you one night free if you went on and booked it. <laughs> probably so all right so uh dunaway will be in the alabama locker room after the game we'll have a uh, reaction at next row live at next row live is the reaction uh so you can see all of that and it's gonna be late at night obviously so stick around hang uh hang around i'll be back live right here same place you're watching all these things you can find me uh after the game we would really appreciate it if you share this hit a retweet share it on facebook give us a thumbs up if you have not already uh, followed us and subscribe to us on YouTube. Please do that and set your alerts so you know when we're live. And I'll be uh, I'll be right back uh, right after the uh, after the game is over. Uh, Lawway wants to know if you get in and out. Yeah, I have not. I have not. It's been one of those situations. Sorry, I covered up the camera. It's been one of those situations that um, uh, I went to dinner last night with the Crimson Tide Sports Network folks. I got yep. in so late Tuesday that I didn't do it, and uh, I haven't come across an in-and-out that's been close by. So I have not done that. I had a great meal last night. Everything else, I've been on a – on a, I, feel, I feel like I've been on the air or shooting something the entire time. We appreciate this, the work. Yeah, this one is not a uh, – uh, I, I always try to make it look like a glamorous trip, but this isn't a glamorous trip, even though it is absolutely beautiful here. The sun was shining in Los Angeles as Alabama <laughs> moved into the Sweet 16. Yeah. Um, Jason, half court offense, spread them out, play some defense. Let's see you shoot eighty percent of three quarters. He's expecting a yeah. lot of six. He wants him to take eighty percent of Alabama's three quarters. Shoot a lot of three yeah. quarters. Everybody slapped the floor one time. I agree with that. Let's do that. <laughs> 
All right, so uh, next round live, Dunaway will have all that presented by uh, MyBookie and Autograph, MyBookie.ag to play these games, MyBookie.ag, code next round, uh, and you get that sign-on bonus and play once with it, win once with it, it's yours and yours forever at MyBookie.ag, that is when you use code next round at sign-on. Also, the Autograph app, download it, it is free, Tom Brady yeah. behind this one, and uh, it, can, it has all the team info, you use it, Dunaway, code TNR, helps us if you use code TNR when you download it. That's, that's right. You know, there's very few things that are free in this world anymore. Just an email address and our promo code TNR, and you're looking for something that absolutely helps us out, that helps us out there right there. My bookie next round, um, obviously, but autograph is just free. It's just an email address, yep. TNR, and you got a, a lot of great content. The My Bookie QR code is right over there. The autograph QR code is right there. So we gave you the QR codes too. Very good. Uh, and those help us when you use the codes uh, next round at mybookie.ag and TNR, uh, the autograph code. By the way, ticket giveaways on that TNR, uh, ticket giveaways. So uh, check that out. Maybe if Alabama ends up in Phoenix, there might be some ticket giveaways, I'm told, there at uh, the autograph app. Maybe All right, so. got away. Final thought. Last time we'll talk to you before, Tim, what's your gut tell you? I ain't never – well, no. Um, my gut tells me um, – you know, I think North Carolina is the team to beat in this game. Right? They're they're a national championship contender. But this tournament is built on upsets. And uh, this will be a big one in Alabama basketball history if they, can, if they can knock North Carolina off tonight, especially with their two All-Americans. I would assume it's going to go North Carolina's way. But, man, to just to be in the game and have a chance tonight in this setting, pretty darn cool this season for Alabama basketball. Yeah, Sweet 16 game, the times in this season, it did not seem like this would be a Sweet 16 team. Dunaway showing you the uh, streets outside Crypto.com Arena. They are emptied out because Arizona and Clemson is about a half hour from tip, a little more than a half hour from tip. Alabama, about three-ish hours, three and a half hours from the scheduled tip. We'll see what time that goes. Um, Dunaway, enjoy the games. We'll see you in the locker room after the game. All right, guys. I'll try to get one sound bite up. Very quickly, as soon as I get in there, and then okay. I'll interview the rest of the guys, okay? Yeah, yeah, real quick. And I'll be on live right here at these same spots after the game. Everybody enjoy Alabama and North Carolina. We'll talk to you after the game tonight. Thank you for joining us.